Do you ever think back to high school and remember how awful group projects were? Nobody was ever on the same page and documents got lost and issues went unresolved. Fortunately, now we have groundbreaking innovations that fix all these issues and then some, including the most user-friendly online experience for managing any type of project in today's product showcase. How's it going, Sumolangs? It's me, Christy from AppSumo. And today we are talking about FreedCamp, a one-of-a-kind collaboration experience enabling teams to complete projects in a fraction of the time. What sets FreedCamp apart from the rest is the option to fully customize your platform, so you can install only the tools your team actually uses. Clutter be gone. But before I break down how to use FreedCamp, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're always notified of an AppSumo deal. All right, Sumolings, I'm about to tell you a whole lot about FreedCamp's awesome premium features. But remember, you can always opt out of any of these if it doesn't fit your team's needs. Head on over to the add-ons page and select which features you want to install. You can even install the feature only on specific projects and select which teams have access to that feature. Not every project needs an invoice app and not every team member needs access to the invoices. Ready to make a project? Hit the new project button on your dashboard. First, you'll place the project in a group. Groups are ways to logically um, group your projects. For example, create groups related to a client or separate departments within a company. Then you'll invite users to a project and assign each user their own administrative permissions. You can always edit these permissions in the group admin page. Now let's dive into the add-ons. First up, we've got the Tasks application, which features a Gantt chart, Kanban view, and others under the cog icon. For each task item, you have immediate access to Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Plus, you can also include many sublevel tasks as you want. I mean, your subtask can have subtasks, and your subtask subtask can have, you get it. So if you're like me and constantly thinking up to-do list items on the go, FreedCamp lets you enable an email in feature so you can literally email in tasks to add to your list. Once you're set up, you'll receive a custom email to which you'll send any task. Just put the item in the subject line and the content in the email body. The issue tracker application simplifies more advanced use cases than the task application. For example, you can use the issue tracker to assign an employee a task that requires manager approval before completion. Or you can get an embeddable report form so your website visitors can submit feedback. Next, we've got the Wiki app, which is a great way to create internal documentation, plan large projects, and publish documents publicly. Wiki documents allow you to create feature-rich content using images, tabular data, and more. And at the bottom of the editor, you can use the drop-down menu to make the document public and share using a link. Now let's do a rapid-fire round of some more FreedCamp add-ons we think you'd like. You got invoicing applications that bill clients, create estimates, collect payments via PayPal, and track outstanding payments. The file edit application allows you to edit files from FreedCamp directly without having to download the file, make changes, save the file, re-upload the file, blah, blah, blah. The CRM application is a great place for storing contracts, processing leads, storing calls and campaigns, and placing leads in multiple categories. Wow, Sumolings, with FreedCamp, you truly get everything you need, but only when you need it. Featuring the ultimate customized user experience, you reduce clutter and boost productivity with FreedCamp. <laughs> All right, Sumolings, I'm about... Ugh, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be out. Um... It says can bun view, but I'm pretty sure it's can ban. <laughs> I got it. Let's try that again. Whew, done. 